still going bad on him anyway. What's up everybody, Roderick here with the i500 TWS Truly Wireless AirPods. Are these the best of the best? Well, we're about to find out. We're looking at a one-to-one -one design along with the pop-up window that includes the actual battery percentage for the case and the AirPods. We're looking at two to four hours of music playback time along with one hour of charge time and the charging case can charge the AirPods three to five additional times. These are actually jam-packed because they have touch controls, smart sensors, and wireless charging. They claim to have heavy bass, so I'm really hoping that they improve the bass quality on the i500s. Taking a look at the box, it looks the same as always. I got the AirPods on the front, although you can't feel them. Nothing on any of the sides. And then we got the AirPods in the case on the back. All right, looking good on the inside. Still nothing to write home about. Inside the box, I have a lightning charging cable and a user guide. All right, let's see if they got this wrapping on point. You know what? That actually came off really smoothly. I'm impressed. Usually it gets stuck on there. Ooh, these actually have some weight to them. We're getting good. The hinge key is a little bit of work, although it doesn't really matter that much. All right, so we're looking good. We have the LED light on the front, nothing on the side. On the back, we do have the button along with the matte hinge along with designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. On the bottom, we have the lightning charging port. And then on the inside, we have nothing except for the AirPods. It might be really hard to see, but we do have writing inside the lid. And before I forget, Wireless charging does work. Oh wow, these are actually looking real nice. Down on the bottom, we do have the tech, just like on the AirPods. It might be hard to tell, but on this right one, the grill is a little bit slanted. It looks like a quality defect. Although taking a look at these, they are looking really good and no one will be the wiser. Although as always, the text is a little bit jagged. I do keep hearing beeps when it's trying to pair. All right, so now let's get them back in the case and get them paired up. And remember, I'm currently running iOS 13.1. And just like that, we're connected. And now that that's done, let's see how well they fit. Okay, they fit really well. Right when I put them in my ear, each one beeped as it went in my ear. So you know that smart sensor is working. Nothing to report back about. They feel comfortable, feel just like AirPods. Should we do a shake test? Uh, I guess. <laughs> I don't like doing shake tests. I'm done. They worked. And now that that's done, let's see how good they sound. Okay, they stopped playing. They started playing. They stopped playing. They started playing. Oh my God, it actually worked. Still going bad on them anyway. Listen for noise like at your maximum volume. Now let's check out in video latency. And now let's check Bluetooth range. I'll be right back. And now let's check microphone quality. You guys, as always, here's a 100% raw, unedited audio sample right from the microphone, right to your ears. What you hear is what you're gonna get. I hope it sounds good. Yes, it sounds good. Hopefully, they've improved it because it's one of the things that they're always back. You can actually cast the down background noise. Hopefully, you can hear me loud and clear. It's not cutting in and out. That would be terrible. You know how bad it is when you're having a business meeting. You're like, bite, bite, bite. And you're like, oh, God, we you should have said bite. I did. Anyways, let's move on to the verdict. Oh, right, you guys. I know what you're wondering. I know what's on your mind. You want to know if the i500 TWS is about to shine. Is it the king of all kings? Is it the best pair of earphones you can buy? Well, I'm gonna let y'all know. First things first, fit, comfort, and feel. They feel really comfortable, just like every other pair of AirPods I've ever had in my ears. They just sit there hang there, they're lightweight, they're comfortable, they're smooth, no problems there. Now this is something that all the other i number TWS earphones had in common. Well, at least if they had the smart sensor. If you took them both out of your ears, they stopped playing. If you put them back in, they beeped, but nothing happened. I was like, what, that's weird. Someone was like, oh, if you take out one, it stops playing, if you put it back in, it starts. And I was like, okay, that's cool, I guess, but shouldn't it do it with both two? These, they fixed it. You can take both out, take one out, whatever you want. When you put them back in, they start playing. Oh yeah, and the touch controls are cool too, but I'm more excited about the smart sensor. Now when it comes to audio, quality the main thing because after all they're earphones first well i i i, huh. I feel like they fall short they're advertised as having heavy bass and improved heavy bass i don't see it okay i mean i don't hear it whatever these are another pair of earphones where when i have them on it sounds like nails on a chalkboard <laughs> Boom, like a nail in my ear. Psh, 
I don't know why, I still feel like the i80s sound the best out of all the ones I've tried. And those are still gonna be my favorite, the i80 TWS. That's weird, why are those still the best? I mean, this number's like way higher. But I mean, basically the audio sounds flat, it's decently loud, so there shouldn't be a problem there, and the sensors and everything are cool, but nails on a chalkboard, I can't enjoy the music. When it comes to audio and video latency, everything's completely in sync on Android. On iOS, it's slightly out of sync, and that's enough to drive me mad, so just keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth range, I went all the way to the end of the studio, through a door, past a wall, they stayed connected to the phone, so there's no problems with that. And then, microphone quality. You guys heard the raw and edited audio sample for yourself. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge of that. Don't come asking me how the audio sounds for the microphone, because you guys heard exactly what it would sound like if I gave you a call. If you don't like it, then you're not gonna like it, I guess. So overall, the i500 TWS, are they the top dog? Are they at the top of the pecking order? I still have the i80s all the way up at the top. I mean, the only thing about those I don't like is that it says power on, power on, connected, blah, 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 blah. It's people don't like that. This one just has some beeps and stuff, and that's cool. Plus, all the sensors are working. Wireless charging is working. They look great. They have everything you can need. Like, come on, look at that. Look at that. The only problem, which is a pretty big one, is the audio quality. It's just not up to par. I feel like the i80s are still the way to go. Let me know down below your thoughts. If you guys picked up the i500, some other ones, if there's uh, some other ones you want me to try. <laughs> let me know which ones your favorites are, if you have tried them out, and let me know if you're gonna pick these up, or what your deal is. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Come with the i80s and stop asking me if they're better because they are. All right, thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media, and I'll see you in the next one.